Hello friends and welcome to a, another reading journal update. This is a really exciting one because I basically loved all of these books, like I had a great time reading all of these so I'm really happy to be talking about them and hopefully if you haven't read them then I will inspire you to maybe pick up some of these books and add them to your reading journal. And if you have read any of these books, then make sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments. And if you do enjoy and this is your first time here, then welcome. Make sure to subscribe for more reading journal updates. So the first book is the next instalment in the Akatar series. If you've watched the other reading journal updates, then you'll know I'm absolutely loving this series. And yeah, I heard some mixed reviews about A Court of Frost and Starlight because obviously it's a novella so it was quite a short one and a lot of people said that it didn't really need to happen which I guess it didn't but I really enjoyed it and I'm really glad that it did happen because I feel like in the whole series of Akatar, obviously there's always so much going on and there's not much time that you actually get to just sit and enjoy the world because the world is so magical, all the different courts, all the magic, all the different places and yeah I feel like there's always so much chaos and action going on that sometimes you just don't get to enjoy that so I actually really enjoyed that part of it and just getting to spend some time at the night court and basically this book is it just builds on a lot of the characters within their relationships and it's a good lead onto our next main character Nesta so the next book after this one is kind of focused on her so it's a really good like stepping stone towards that and they're just planning the winter solstice event and they get to do things like share Christmas presents and go for snowball fights and it was just like a really wholesome book and of course there is still plenty of spies in the story so I I did really enjoy it um so it was just more excuse for me to just carry on the world of Akatar before it finishes so for the theme I decided to go obviously for a winter theme and I had these really beautiful like window stickers these blue ones and they're also holographic which is also a bonus I also purposely got this washi tape for this spread because recently I did a journal say haul so I'll also link any goodies down below that I've used that you might want to pick up yourself and I also have a discount code that you can use that I'll put on the screen now and it is an affiliate code so I do earn a small commission but it gets you 8% off. So yeah, the snowflake washi tape was definitely a winner for this spread and I just went for like a blue theme to match the book cover. I really didn't like the lettering that I did. I don't know if it's just because I made loads of mistakes or because this pen's quite old so it's quite thick. I just find it quite hard to write with and ended up squeezing in the word on the page. So it's not my favourite lettering but it's fine, sometimes that happens. But other than that, I do really like the spread. I kind of went for a similar one to Wings of Ruin because I also used some similar window stickers there. So I just felt like that way that composition worked so well, I may as well do it again. The thing that I really like about this paper like washi tape is that you can rip it really easily. So it's kind of like using just like decorative paper. So I find that it's really good for adding little details on or just going around the borders. I also got some blue flower stickers as well just to add onto the spread just to kind of make it a little bit more decorated. So let me know if you have read this book and if you are somebody who maybe wished they could have skipped it or if you are somebody like me and was just grateful for more time in the Sarah J Mass universe. So I just went ahead and started my written journaling 
there's not really a certain thing that I talk about, I just speak about certain bits from the plot that I want to remember, or just like the things that I enjoyed. So that is the first spread all finished. I do think it turned out cute and I love all the holographic detailing on the spread. So that means you can probably guess what the next book will be. So I read the final instalment of, well, what's currently out in the Akatar series. I was wondering when on earth the next book is gonna come out and hopefully soon, although I don't have a feeling it will be anytime soon, but I really would like it to be. But I am in a way glad that this series isn't finished because then I can at least know that I'll be able to spend more time with these characters in the future because I do really enjoy all of the Agatar characters. I would say probably my least favourite, which I guess would maybe influence my thoughts on the next book is Elaine because I just feel like she doesn't really add that much to the story and I don't know if that's just because she hasn't really done that much yet and maybe Sarah J Mass is going to be doing a whole book about her in the future which might be the next book which would make sense as to why she hasn't like touched on her too much but I guess it will be quite interesting to learn more about Elaine in the future if that does happen. So for this book I did go for another theme that kind of just went with the book cover and again I used more of this paper tape this is one that I also chose for this spread again it's just so cute and holographic and then I also used this huge book sticker which is such a nice sticker it's got like little gold details on and it was just giving me all the fantasy vibes and again it was one that I picked up purposely to use in my reading journal when I got it. So I have been trying to get some goodies for certain spreads. Now this book, um, a lot of people say that this is their favourite from the whole series and I definitely like love this book but I don't think it was my favourite. I don't know which one is my favourite, I couldn't actually probably tell you. That's something that I'm still trying to decide. I still really enjoyed Mist and Fury and Wings of Ruin and I know a lot of people really enjoy um, this book because it talks more about Nesta and Cassian so it like kind of moves on from Feyre and Resand and moves on to a new couple and I really enjoyed that they had kind of like a slow burn romance as well. I was enjoying the whole setup of it and where they were in the House of Wind. Of course there's lots of spice as well. I feel like the spice really like times by a thousand in this book. It literally had me like gasping at times because I was like what is going on um, but I did really enjoy this book and I felt like the story was really fun I felt like we got lots of new characters as well and there's lots of like girl bossing as well which I really enjoyed I'm definitely like an Akatar girly and for anybody that has not read Akatar, like I know you probably hear people saying all the time that you should read it but like there is a reason why everybody loves it and I am so glad that I did read it because I felt like it fully accelerated me into the fantasy era of reading because I did read some books before that were fantasy but I wasn't like obsessed you know but like now <laughs> I just keep wanting to read more and more books and the book that I'm currently reading now which is Quicksilver which I'm really enjoying by the way so you'll hear more about that in another reading vlog but that definitely reminds me of Agatar in a way like there's definitely some similar tropes and you can tell that it's definitely inspired by the Agatar series so if you are someone that maybe is looking for another akatar ish series then I'll definitely recommend reading that book. As I said I'm only like 20% through at the moment but yeah it's a really good one and I'm having a lot of fun reading it. So I just added some stamps onto the spread, some of the new ones that I got recently and then just added on some of these really cute little stickers that one of my pen pals sent me 
because they were just giving like magical house things I guess. For this spread I didn't end up doing the title because from the last spread I was a little bit scared to do so because I'd kind of ruined it so much in the last one so I just decided not to put a title here and I don't think there's any like rules with reading journal spreads and it's just kind of what you make for yourself so for me personally I don't have like a certain layout or things that I have to add in every reading spread so for example on the last one I didn't even put a rating but then on this one I did put a rating and I know a lot of people have those stamps that you can colour in but I kind of like the really wobbly stars <laughs> they're like wonky stars so yeah I enjoy putting those onto my spread so this one is sadly the last of the Akatar although if you have been watching all my other videos then you're probably fed up of me reading Akatar and are waiting for me to read something else So the next spread is for the book When the Moon Hatched and I was really excited to read this one. I had heard loads about it on booktube and other people had been talking about it and oh this is the washi tape by the way that I got as well specifically for this spread um, and it works really well. It's kind of like a fantasy map but it's obviously like a turquoisey pastel blue. It's really cute. Anyway, so a lot of people had been saying good things about this book and I know it's going to be part of a series, I think it's a three part series or maybe a five, I don't remember. But anyway, there's only one out at the moment and then the second one comes out next year, I think. And I've spoken to quite a few people actually after reading this book and they have kind of mixed reviews and didn't enjoy it as much as maybe I did. I would say it's quite a big book and I don't think I actually realised how much of a chunky book it is until after I'd finished it and seen like pictures of the book in person because I read everything on my Kindle at the moment so I feel like I read quite fast on there and I don't really notice how big the books are so that didn't really bother me that much. But the premise of the story is that it's a world where there's dragons, which, you know, always great. And when they die, they basically go up to the sky and like solidify into moons. And there's all like different types of magic that people have. I think it's based around like the gods or like the elements. Can't actually remember. And then we have like our main character and she is a pretty badass. Like, I think she's an assassin or something along those lines. So the start of the story is just her kicking ass basically and I was really confused at the start. I would say for like the first third of the book there's definitely like a lot of world building and yeah I was really confused. I didn't really know what's going on but I was still enjoying it so I carried on reading. Um, another thing I will say as well, do not listen to the audiobook of this book because I started to listen to the audiobook and it was terrible and I've heard a lot of people who have only listened to the audiobook so that might also be why they didn't enjoy it but yeah it's just really not good so do not listen to the audiobook at all because you will not enjoy it. But yeah a lot of people said that um, they didn't really like enjoy the book, they felt like it was confusing and quite a long one but I really enjoyed it, there was like a romance, there's definitely like an amnesia trope and I know some people aren't a fan of that but I didn't hate it, I quite liked it, it was kind of like my first experience with it and I didn't mind it and yeah you kind of switch between the main character and then this other character that you don't really know anything about in like a diary entry from like hundreds of years ago so you kind of like trying to piece all the pieces together as you're going along to try and work out what on earth is going on but essentially when the male main character came into the story then I was like really hooked into it because then we start to get like a slow burn enemies to lovers so I was kind of sold at that point that's when I really started enjoying the book and then I did kind of fly through it and I felt like the end was really good it all like kind of came together 
and there was like a big plot twist and I feel like because it is part of a series that the first third of it was kind of important so I don't really mind like having that confusion at first because I'm just putting all of my faith into the fact that it was needed and the other books are going to be like this massive epic fantasy world. I mean that's just my predictions, I might be entirely wrong and it could be a massive letdown when the second book comes out. But yeah I definitely enjoyed it and I would just say do not listen to the audiobook and if you can get through the third, the first third of it and still kind of know what's going on then you're onto a winner. But I really like how this spread turned out and the little moon is, the little dragon is that kind of meant to represent one of the moons in the skies so now this next book I absolutely loved this book so the next book is fourth wing by Rebecca Yaros and yeah I had such a great time reading this so obviously I just read when the moon hatched and when I first started that book obviously I was a little confused and then when I started reading this book it was like action from the get-go there was so much going on I felt like the fantasy world was so easy to understand um it was very simple and I liked the premise of there is this girl called Violet and she's going to essentially like a dragon school to learn how to be a dragon rider but it's like really brutal like people just die all the time it's like a really dangerous place to be and then obviously we meet our main character Zayden who again enemies to lovers so on to a winner with that one but yeah I just love this book and it also had me like laughing out loud at points because there's obviously dragons and you have to bond with a dragon and then that's how you obviously become a rider and yeah I felt like her and her dragon had a really good relationship and the, the like the banter that they had I, I really enjoyed reading that another thing that I really liked about this book actually is because when I first started reading it and I obviously learned about the dragons and how they have to bond with a dragon to kind of like graduate and get onto the next stage I was assuming that this whole book was going to lead up to like her bonding with a dragon so I thought we'd have to wait like ages for it but it happened in like the third chapter so <laughs> well not the third chapter I think it was a little bit later than the third chapter but it happened like way quicker than I thought it was going to so yeah that just had me hooked even more because I was like oh this is real fast paced so it was just a really really fun book and there was just so much like romance and I love how Violet and Zayden kind of have this like ride or die relationship um it was something that I really enjoyed like being a part of and I will say that I definitely love this book as much as Agatar and since I finished it I have actually been really sad <laughs> I don't know if anyone else gets like this but I feel like if I read a book that I really enjoy because I'm like totally invested in the characters so that's how I felt about this book and that's how I felt about the Agatha series then after I finish reading it I'm just like really sad and I feel like I can't start a book like straight away I need like a day of mourning to just like kind of forget about those other characters because they're just like playing on my mind so as I'm recording this I have obviously finished Iron Flame so I'm at that point now where I'm sad because I don't get to any enjoy any more of Violet and Zayden and the other characters in the story so yeah, if anyone has any idea what I'm on about and can relate, then please let me know. Now these gold and black stickers are also from Journal Say and I got them again specifically for this spread. I also got the vintage map tape and the stamp. And the vintage map tape, I've been using loads actually, just in my normal spreads as well. It's just like a really fun one to just stick down and it's just like adds loads of decoration and it's just really easy to use. I 
I'd also seen some reviews on YouTube where people didn't really enjoy this book because obviously it's in like a school setting so there's a lot of like teenage-ish like banter in a way or they're like kind of like saying things to each other and I know a lot of people thought it was cringy but I actually really enjoyed it and I didn't mind it like I don't mind that kind of vibe and for me it was just fun to like watch them interact with each other and just hear like the stupid things that they would say like the stupid insults that people would say to each other for me I enjoyed reading that and it made it like a more enjoyable realistic like school I also really like the like magic in this story everyone has like a signet which is like a special power and you get it when you bond with your dragon and like everyone has different ones depending on who they're bonded with and just what kind of person they are themselves so it was really fun as well seeing everyone get all their powers and what the different characters would get now i'm not going to say anything about this dragon sticker because it is a little bit of a spoiler but if you have read the book then you definitely know who that is um <laughs> but yeah i just felt like that was the perfect sticker to add to this spread I also ended up making a little bit of a mistake with the stamp at the top but I just covered it with a little scrap of paper and then added the date on top. So if you have read any of these books then let me know your thoughts because I would love to hear how it was for you reading them or if you're planning on reading any of these books. But I hope you enjoyed joining me on making all of these spreads and hearing my silly thoughts about these books and how I enjoyed them. So I hope you are looking forward to the next reading journal update because I've got two more books that I need to add in already. And as you might have noticed, I had to actually start a new journal to do my fourth wing spread. So you will also see my journal flip through coming th soon. So make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one.